Okay, viewers, it's Hobo's Gold here. Yeah, just doing a gold pour, gold mount again. I've done one with Gary, and this is my own gold. I've just put in uh, 68.1 grams of gold there. All gold from the SDC 2300 from WA. We did a bit of a trip up there. And uh, got some nice gold there. There you go, have a look at that, viewers. Beautiful. I'm going to do my own gold bar now. Um, so I'm just going to put that in my little furnace here. And that's the spacer. That's between there. And uh, here we go. These are map gas bottles. And it mounts this gold real quick. buy these, I think the guy was originally selling these on eBay, um, I'm not sure if he's selling them on eBay anymore, but you can, you can buy them from the States from a website called makeyourowngoldbars.com, um, I saw a video of his on uh, YouTube, and um, loved the furnace that he had shown on there. So I went out and bought one myself, and uh, I'll tell you what, it, it really does a job. It's a terrific, um, I think it cost me about 180 bucks from the States to Australian dollars, delivered to my door, and I'm really wrapped with what it does. Borax sorts bands of gold a bit and it tips over a bit. Should be alright now. I think it's just starting to mount down a bit. First pour takes a little bit longer to warm up. Um, got a lot of air around the, the gold nuggets and stuff. But uh, it's just starting to heat up nicely now, it's just starting to melt a bit now. Yeah. 
these are mounting. away in there. All the uh, borax and the gold bubbling away. What I'll do is I'll do the first pour and then I'll put it back in there. Love melted gold. Let it cool down just a little bit. You can see the uh, borax is still uh, quite soft. The gold basically goes hard straight away in the mold, but the borax stays uh, fluid for a bit. But I had a bit of ironstone and quartz in there, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of slag on this. That. It's just black gold on the bottom. That's just nothing but slag. Look at that. There'll be quartz, ironstone. You can see a bit of quartz come off them, separated from the gold. Fair bit on that. So what I do is I melt that again. And get that chunk of slag off there. I'll melt that again and um, pour it again. Anyway guys, I, uh, that's the gold after the first couple of pours. Now, I'm just going to do it one more time, so uh, we'll get this going. I'll put it in there first, that way I don't burn my fingers. Just let it heat up. Instead of um, doing it in the, that one, we're going to do it in this this one. I think we're going to get a better result out of that one. So yeah, these uh, the meth gas works a hell of a lot better than the um, propane bottles. Um, you can use these torches on the propane bottles, um, but you know, take an extra few dollars for the map gas. I prefer to use map gas; it just goes a lot quicker. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this furnace works. It heats up real quick. And you don't want to be stuffing around waiting and waiting. Just have a bit of a zoom in there. Gold bars in 
there. Once it gets hot, it'll just melt. I might do it. There you go folks, one nice gold bar that weighs about 64 grams of gold there, so just over uh, two ounces. It's hard to believe that's over $3,000 Australian, just for that. But look how pretty it is, isn't that beautiful? Anyway folks, I'm glad you enjoyed the video, well I hope you did, and um, Thanks for watching Hobo's Gold. Cheers.